We have evolved in the glow of the sun, and the light we get from it has a dramatic effect on us. Our agriculture is totally dependent on it, but we have evolved out of our natural cycle. We live, work, and even grow food outside of our natural environment and natural rhythm. Of course, we have invented ways of lighting our environment. But up until now, we've been restricted to a fixed spectrum by the materials we use and the way we use them. They are expensive to buy, energy inefficient and inaccurate. This has a dramatic effect on our mood and also on our productivity. It also affects the health and growth rate of the food we grow. What if we could change the spectrum of light depending on what we are doing and the time of day we are doing it? The spectrum of light is where the physical information of light is, and this is what interacts with us and our environment. That's exactly what we are doing here at HiLED. The HiLED project is a European project funded by the European Commission. Uh, here we are trying to develop uh, LED tunable light sources in which you can reproduce any lighting spectrum. We are developing new light engines by optimizing configurations of LED lights and by combining LEDs with OLEDs and creating dynamically tunable digital lamps. So the cell mixer is an advanced optics able to melt all the multicolor uh, light coming from the uh, multiple chips in the light engine and able to produce a very uniform light beam. There are measurable effects from our light engines on mood and productivity. For example, we have been able to control melatonin levels. So light is the most important drug for humans in terms of regulating circadian rhythms and sleep. And uh, it's important not only to control the intensity of light, but also the spectrum. So we can have human behavior and physiology directly communicate with the lights and sculpt the light spectrum automatically to optimize human performance or mood in different contexts at different times of day. We are examining the effects of our smart lighting on plants, like increased mass, greater length and higher vitamin content. We're using light technology to optimize crop production so we can use the color of the light to change how tall they grow, when they flower and what they taste like. So having a light source that can be programmed to give the proper spectral composition on the moment the grower wants it during the day or even during the season, that would really be a benefit to greenhouse horticulture. We are developing light engines for professional light applications where exact lighting is critical. For example, in museums, you can see works of art as they were meant to be seen. Lighting in museums is important because if we have the wrong spectrum of light, we may be reproducing completely different colors from the original paintings. So in a sense, it's like looking at fake paintings. The main results of our research work in the Highlight project are the customized spectral power distribution for the different epochs of the European art. That means that we can improve the visual experience of the museum visitors and decrease the damage potential of the illumination in the museum at the same time. As humans, we have evolved, and it's time for lighting technology to evolve too. Hi, Led. Visit our site to find out more about this exciting project.